I swear to God, if any of you guys say this is clickbait, I'm gonna be so mad and you will be banned from the comments because I play it for the gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, Senrin Kagura Estival Versus, the PS4 game of a, uh, a Vita and 3DS title series thing that is so amazing I can't even speak properly. I even got the Japanese exclusive theme because the music is awesome. That's why. I actually love it. It's super colorful, it's fun, it's happy, it's on repeat. Let's get started. This game had like a 3 gigabyte opening thing, like a, a day one patch. So you can knops from the title what you're getting into. Um, I am super excited for this because I genuinely love these games in their gameplay, but I can see why people would be turned off. I myself am quite the opposite from being turned off from the graphics and stuff. Um, this game is without a doubt... Well, I haven't played this one yet. I played the prequel. Not the prequel, but the game before. Um, and it's, uh... It's something. Like, a Warriors game? So there's a share data function. I guess that's kind of nice if you have the 3DS... Or not the 3DS. This, would, this one wouldn't fly on the 3DS. It's amazing they can get away with so much more on the uh, the Vita and PS4 versions than the 3DS one. Actually, it's not amazing. That would make about sense. Uh, but no, the portable one you can use there. Experience the story across eight days of battle. Take your game online. Dressing room. Library. Well, okay, first off, settings. That's always important. Um, oh, you can get uh, the last game's music. That's kind of cool. The guide? Oh, you can pick anyone. Is there a random option? Because I kind of really like that when that was in- Oh, you don't have the random option. Ah, oh, who do I want? Oh, who's- who's my fave girl? You know what? I- Homura, she's the best. Um, I'm gonna actually put the music down and the sound effects down because I like the voices to be the loudest. That's just my personal preference. Controls, um, R1 for that. Of course, vibration. How could I not have that? Skip story scenes disabled. So you can disable the clothing breaks if you want. And I'll display enemy health for now. Actually, no. I, I feel like it's not super needed. Um, yeah, that should be good. So yeah, no, you can actually turn off the... If, if the clothing damage is not to your liking, and you'll know exactly what I mean when you see it, you can turn that off. So, oh, this is a good menu. Oh, I like this menu. What's the update info? Oh, it's actually update info. Adjustment to pairing, secret ninja arcs, no longer stun. Wow, no, they actually added um, a whole bunch of stuff. Except it's not in order. Why does it go like 7, 9? Oh, no, because then it goes up to 13, 14. Wow, okay, no, they actually totally did a whole bunch. Um, yeah, wow. These, Because these are all the Japanese things, right? So, huh. New clothes tearing options. Nice. Let's get started. Why am I holding off on this? I'm so excited. This game is such a guilty pleasure. Is this going to be one of our... I'm going to be mostly quiet during these. Unless something amazing happens that I have to comment on. それは人知の及ばぬ現世の断り人の歴史に最悪ありこの世界は大規模な天変地異によって幾度も壊滅的な危機に見舞われてきたしかしそれは天才ではなく邪悪な破壊の意志によるものだった この大いなる最悪に全てをかけて抗うことそれこそが現代に生きる忍びたちの究極の任務なのだこの任務に挑む忍びのほとんどが命を落とすだがそこに悲しみの涙が入る余地はない if you guys thought Senran Kagura was not serious ever, boy are you wrong. No, seriously, the stories get really dark at times. Um, and like, if you, like Senran Kagura 2, super freaky. 
like some stuff, you know, like of course this is a different timeline, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, no, these games are cute and sexy and, you know, lifeless on the outside, but on the inside they're actually super deep. Kokoro Seikanoutagenohateni Natsukitaritehutange
That was some, uh, some good anime. Actually, that was really well animated. I heard people complaining about the animation, but like, no, that was good. I thought that was, you know, and again, that's the thing. Like, you got the butt smacking before, and then you got, like, the actual drama. That's, that's what Senran Kagura is about. It's about that perfect mix of, like, the actual, like, you care about the characters, even though they are hyper-sexualized. You do care about them. So for those of you, I guess I should explain a bit. Ryobi, her, she's a, uh, a sadist. That's right, I'm, I was gonna mix up the terms. And her sister is a masochist, so... So, she, yeah, no, that's why she was like, she wants to hop in the fire, because she enjoys pain. Meanwhile, her sister enjoys dealing pain. What a pair. Also, they have heterochromia, which I am not a fan of in character design. The only character who pulled it off well is, like, Yuna in Final Fantasy X, and that's just because it's super subtle. I hope you like Mood Whiplash, because, man, you are going to be getting it. So these two were introduced in the last game, um, and even though like their sister was mentioned, it wasn't really that big of a plot point, I feel. Um, like they didn't bring it up much, but here it's like that's the whole driving force. My phone just went off. It's interrupting the intense drama that is... Are we actually fighting right away? Wow, that's actually super surprising. I wasn't expecting that. So, I guess to explain this game's gameplay... Oh wow, okay, this is... Oh, it's actually nice having like the full 360 action. Oh, it's nice coming back from the Vita version, you know? Huh, are these like actual levels and stuff? That's interesting. Um, the way the game- <laughs> that's gratuitous. The way the gameplay works is honestly, it's like a Power Rangers game where you have untransformed and transformed characters. And you heal? You not only heal, but you- oh god, look at all these enemies. It's way more than any other version. Um, you not only heal when you transform into your, 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 you know, your ranger form, but in this game it's the shinobi form, right? So you not only heal, but you get more attacks and stuff. But you gotta you gotta know when to pop that shinobi transformation because otherwise it's you know you, you don't want to waste it. 
So, Ryo, uh, Ryobi here uses a gun, and, you know, just because she's a, you know, a gunfighter doesn't mean she can't also hit physically, which is nice. Okay, so we, we did the thing of getting all the things, and, um, you have very limited movesets to begin with, but it grows as you go on, much like the breasts of the girls. <laughs> that's, that's, I love that. Man, the quotes from the, from the author, he's, or the, the director, he's like, I hope our love for ninjas grows just like the breasts of the girls, and I'm like, oh, you know what? He originally created this series literally just because he wanted to see, um, breasts in 3D on the 3DS and he just made a game centered around 3D breasts and then from there he decided to move on to the Vita to get you know more action and less censored stuff um, because this this goes way further than the the original DS ones go press L1 to transform you'll change your outfit boost your attack and health and uh, your combos and will restore so it's literally like Power Rangers where when you do it you get a cool transformation, which you, yeah, it's, hmm, it's good. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, and, um, Ryobi, for some reason, she's totally flat-chested, but literally, for some reason, her breasts grow when she ninja transforms. The, her story in the last game is trying to figure out why, and she comes up with a reason on her own why it does that, but I, I don't think it's ever actually really explained. It's just... It's just a, you know, you gotta put in that breast expansion fetish stuff, you know, it's got, this, this game has a little bit of something for everything. Unless you like chubby girls, then I'm sorry you're out of luck. You, you get thick girls, but no chubsters. Which, is that, is that an improper term? Chubster? I'm not sure. Um, no, you, you don't get any plus size girls, that's, that's how you say it. Um, it's all, it's all pretty, uh, okay, so now we can use, oh yeah, so, so, you have three. So this is our this is our first super. This is our second super. Every character has three supers. I think I don't yeah, so we can't do our, our ultimate super yet, which kinda sucks, but we'll we'll get there eventually. Every character has three supers. In the three DS one they actually get an aerial one, but sadly uh it's not here. But it's fine, there's not much aerial combat because it's it's a little different. Like if this is a Dynasty Warriors type game, then... Well, it's Dynasty Warriors, but imagine an arena-based Dynasty Warriors. So it's like, you never really go super crazy further. Like, you, you know, like, you, you go by arena... From arena to arena, but you don't go ever, like, you know, back and forth. It's always just a linear path. Um, meanwhile, the, the 3DS ones are more like old-school beat-em-ups. You know, where it's, it's left and right, but you do have some up-down, too. It's, uh, no, like, they're both different games, um, except it's interesting, because the 3DS ones have almost, like, a Devil May Cry-style combat, where it's, like, you know, you have, like, a Devil Bringer, and then the combos are a lot more in-depth, and you actually have multiple... ...simple, um, it's, it's more like a, like I said, an arena-based Warriors game, which is something I always wanted. And yeah, that's, that's Riona's transformed costume. I didn't like it at first, but it really fits her fighting style, which is literally a skater with four guns, but unlike Bayonetta, who puts two guns on her feet, no, no, her guns are fused at the hilt, and she uses her index finger and pinky both. It is almost impossible for that to actually happen and work in real life, but you know what? This game isn't built on realism. そ、それは… その… 心… 
I hope you like gals being pals, because man, that's that's what a lot of the character interaction is. Doesn't even matter if they're sisters. Doesn't matter. I don't think Riona can turn that off. I feel like she's been broken and turned into what she is. And that sounds really dark, but I wouldn't put it past this game. Uh, we got some we got some melodrama Wow another anime cutscene already I'm actually really surprised I was expecting it just to be like the opening and the ending You guys have no idea how happy I am the PlayStation 4 is a system that exists. That is actually like that whole opening with the music and everything. I got goosebumps. It was so good. It was so good. 
god. That was... Oh my god. Like, yeah, you know what? If, if you just... Watching that out of context, you might be like, oh my god, what is this super gratuitous, terrible anime stuff? But then, like, once you, like, know all those characters who are dancing, and once you, like, know their personalities and their backstories and stuff, it's actually super cool. It's super nice, because they're just having fun, and, like, oh. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna cut this here, because I feel like I can't, I feel like you get, might need a rest after that. Um, right. We're at the guests in school when we come back. See you next time, guys. Ciao.